Speaking of following the teachings of Gandhi, King, and Bonhoeffer, the Republicans, <laughs> the Republican clown car was in Greenville, South Carolina for a foreign policy summit. But Bobby Jindal, Ted Cruz, and all the other Republican helpfuls were out there to explain to the terrorists what they could expect in a new administration. Of course, none of this has anything to do with the fact that we have a global war that's taking place, that President Obama's been unflinching, agree or disagree in all of this foreign policy actions. Nope, that's irrelevant because President Obama doesn't say things like, I'm glad the Texas shooters were sent to meet their virgins as Ted Cruz, to paraphrase him, said, or Bobby Jindal talking about, in the South, gun control means hitting your target. These are men, men of action, that obviously us as effete liberals, who as the rabbi pointed out a couple of weeks ago, have a bizarre sexual attraction to Islamic terrorists because of our own low testosterone levels. And I got to tell you, all of us in the office in different ways have been taking better care of our health, eating more protein. I've been going to the gym a lot, not just for yoga anymore. So I can't promise you that I might not get a new set of American politics as I become more of an actual man. But no matter what I do, nothing can compare to Marco Rubio, who quoted a famous movie a great and iconic scene to explain what his, and if I could step out of this character for a moment, what his fucking global strategy on terrorism will be. Can you even contemplate for a minute how unbelievably moronic this clip is? Let's watch Marco Rubio do his best Liam Neeson impression. And perhaps as important as anything else, by rallying the world, not just to contain radical jihadists, but to defeat them. When people ask, what should our strategy be on global jihadists and terrorists? I refer them to the movie Taken. Have you seen the movie Taken? Liam Neeson? He has a line, and this is what our strategy should be. We will look for you. We will find you and we will kill you. Yeah, because um, Marco Rubio is so intimidating. Let's listen to that original Liam Neeson monologue because this, of course, is the foreign policy genius that Marco Rubio is going to design U.S. strategy from. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Mm. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. All right. So the problem is, is not only obviously that Liam Neeson sounds a lot more intimidating and a lot cooler saying that. It's also that he says in the monologue he has a particular set of skills that he's acquired over a long career. What are Marco Rubio's skills? Dropping stupid Tupac references into comments about global warming. Not being able to go through a speech without having to lunge for a bottle of spring water like a camel with a back injury and generally giving stupid speeches where he uses knockoff lines from Liam Neeson. I don't think that that is the particular skill set that will terrify global terrorists. I would also like to add that uh, in the three Taken movies, uh, even though he says that badass line during the course of him trying to save his daughter, the following happens. In the first one, her da his daughter's best friend is found dead because she was drugged by the people who took her right. daughter, took right. his daughter. In the second one, his wife 
and his daughter are then kidnapped. And the third one, and this is not a spoiler because they say this in the trailer that's been ad- that's been uh, played on TV right. over and over again. Yep. The wife is then murdered by the people he's going after. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's not that easy. It's you know, there's going to be casualties and death along the way. Right. And it hasn't worked out that well. So maybe Marco Rubio's actual approach would work better. Which is, I'm sorry, guys. I can either give you a certain amount of money, or you know, if it's too much, just have my wife. Can I still run for president? No, that's not fair. I'm sure Marco Rubio would try to save his wife and his daughter, and he would go to one of his wealthy donors and get all the money necessary that they needed. But that's a great point. Even as bad an ass as Liam Neeson, the strategy hasn't really worked. 